Now we're going to solve some problems in steps and then what we're going to do is solve one problem using all of that work. Our first problem is 5,000 divided by 5. Well we've got five thousands so when we share that among five the answer is 1,000. What about 2,000 divided by 5? Well we can't share whole thousands. Let's think of 20 divided by 5 firstly and that equals 4. Now 2,000 is the same as 20 hundreds. So 20 hundreds divided by 5 is 400. So 2,000 divided by 5 is 400. Now what about 250 divided by 5? Is the number 25 jumping out at you? Because 25 divided by 5 is 5 and 250 it's like 25 tens. So our answer is 5 tens or 50. So 250 divided by 5 equals 50. Another one, wow, 35 divided by 5. Well 30 divided by 5 is 6, 35 is 1 more 5, so that's 7. So we've solved four different problems. We've solved 5,000 divided by 5, which is 1,000, 2,000 divided by 5, which is 400, 250 divided by 5, which is 50, and 35 divided by 5, which is 7. Now what if we needed to solve 7,285 divided by 5? Well, what we have done is we've actually done that, but we've broken our 7,285 into four different numbers. If you see what we've got here, we've actually got five in the units place, eight in the tens place, two in the hundreds place, and seven in the thousands place. So in fact, we have divided 7,285 by five, We've just done it in four steps. So that means we need to add our four answers together. We've got a seven in the units place, five in the tens place, four in the hundreds place, and one in the thousands place. So our answer is 1,457. Now, sure, it takes a few steps. And if you had a calculator, it would be much quicker. But if you didn't, you can still get the answer by just breaking your number down. How good's that? Now this time, we're going to start with the problem and break that into separate problems. We've got 7,648 divided by 8. Now it would be great if we had 8,000, but we don't. Now what could we do to split that number up? Well, it's an even number, so we could take half and half again, but that's only dividing by 4. We could take half again, and that would be dividing by 8, so that's one strategy you could use. Another way is to think of place value. We could split our number into 7,000 plus 600 plus 40 plus 8. But can we divide each of those numbers by 8? I know 8 can be divided by 8 as well as 40, but I'm not sure about 7,000 and 600. They might be, but it doesn't look that easy. Why don't we think about using our 8 times table. So let's pop those up there on the left. Now when I look at this number, 48 jumps out at me and 6 eighths are 48. So I'm going to just leave the 48 for now and think about the 76 hundreds. Now 9 eighths are 72. So let's break 76 hundred into 72 hundred and then another 400. And then we've got our 48 so all of a sudden, we've broken our number into three parts. We can then divide each of them by 8. So 7200 divided by 8, well if 9 eighths are 72, then 900 eighths are 7200. Now we've got 400. Now that's the same as 40 tens. And 5 eighths are 40, so 5 tens times 8, are 400. So 50 times 8 is 400. And 48, well that's 6 eighths. So we can actually put that down. There we go. So now we've got 7,000 
648 divided by 8 equals 900 plus 50 plus 6, or 956 groups of 8. So 7,648 divided by 8 equals 956. Now that's not the only way we could split that number. You might like to try the same problem and see if you can split it into different numbers, perhaps thinking about what we did with this solution.